Patio furniture used to be a, a metal chair or aluminum with, with seatbelt webbing. Remember those? <laughs> I do. And patio furniture, it was, it was a wooden picnic table. Well, yeah. now it's become outdoor designer-esque where it's almost like sofas and living rooms. And the furniture looks fantastic, but maybe your deck, your patio, your pool area doesn't. So what do you do? You have expensive, wonderful furniture like that gorgeous table. Are you gonna put it on a plastic mat which is what most outdoor patio coverings were. These are real outdoor rugs from That's Veranda it. Living. Yes. Number one brand name. Yep, only here at QVC. Uh, and we, this is the new selection for 2018. Welcome back. Jeff Dave, Meyer, good to see you. season, buddy. Want to keep you healthy? Yeah, no, he was complaining about the outdoor furniture because last year you told me <laughs> your wife it. bought some furniture and he goes, you can't believe it's as much as indoor furniture, which is correct. <laughs> My wife, we, I, I come home, I'm on, I'm on a business trip for I two days. I got it started. <laughs> yes, you did. You're going to get me in trouble. I come home, I've got sofas outside by the pool. Sofas. And? And, and? and it looked terrible. And you need to set all of that off. Veranda Living from one of the largest nice. manufacturers in the world. This is a two-sided rug. I'm standing on the darker side of the red. Okay. This is the other side of it. It's like a magic trick when and, you flip it over. And by the way, you would think, okay, a light color like that, yeah. you're insane to put that outdoors with no. bird droppings and dirt and rain and everything else. These things, Nothing stains them. Yeah, we're going to show you in a little Nothing, bit. Nothing, including found bleach. Ble bleach, you can put bleach on, which means you can disinfect them. It's really, I call it the wonder fiber. It's a solid fiber that doesn't hold uh, odors. And when it does get rained on, it dries very quickly. Yep. So it's great around a pool. It's great, like you said, if your deck's not looking uh, very good. It's also great in the kitchen because of what it's made of. If you spill wine okay. on it, right. eggs, you can clean it, just hose it off. So it's fantastic in or out. Three different sizes. Three different sizes. We have the uh, the round. 83 inch round. 84, I believe. 80, uh, I'm sorry, 78. 78. I knew, See, I knew it was two numbers. Math is our strong suit, yes. Dan. <laughs> then, Why we're not then accountants. Then we have the five by seven. This is again, <laughs> the re this one is just reversed right here. So if you want a lot of blue, you'll use that side. If not, you flip it over and use the lighter side. And then here's the enormous seven Se by 10. Now in the seven by 10, because again, this is one of the first areas for the entire season. Right. Uh, this, this bigger size is by far the most limited. This is where you have the outdoor patio furniture that looks like a sitting area. Sure. This is when you have a larger outdoor dining table. I like the red. You know, the red, the red's beautiful. That's again, we just call it red. But even when you look at this, we come in close. Look at all the different colors that are in here. See the striations? You're going to see a little bit of orange, a little bit of maroon. There's that weave. It's a real weave. Under your foot, it kind of feels like a burr yeah. or a sizal, or something it, like that. It's a real rug. So many of these plastic mats are made of the exact same material <laughs> as your coffee stirring stick. That's, that's correct. And here is the edges. These are surged yeah. edges. The large size, by the way, weighs over 20 pounds. It comes yeah. to you rolled up. And the best way to change the look of maybe your foyer, your kitchen, your outdoors is to put a rug down. It's not painting. Right. That's a lot of work. Uh, let me let me throw something out there because, uh, and we're making them available preseason pricing. Uh, they are going to ship to you in March, and I believe the date is the 17th. That is correct. March 17th will be the ship date. When you do get these at home, especially if you are getting the 10 by 7, uh, you may want to ask a neighbor to help you because <laughs> they they are heavy enough in weight. These are not going to blow around not, like the plastic correct. mats. They lay out and they look great. Mine is, what was the first year you brought? Brent? I believe it's four or five years now. It's just, it's been, okay, so I've got it's at been least, a journey. At least four years on my back deck and it, it still looks fantastic. Yeah. And mine sits out even in the winter months. And this is never the, had a problem. This is the gray we just got to right here. That's pretty. Where again, if you look at it, it's, it's not one dimensional. All these different colors, there's some wheat, there's the gray, there's black, there's a smoke color in there. So all these colors work together to give you that beautiful look of veranda. We call it the filigree. Why? Because around the border, filigree usually is done with gold okay. or silver and jewelry. And it, nice. it's that ornate work they do. And that's also, what we've done with this rug. In all the years that you've done this, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the most number of choices in color. The, the, I believe this is it, Dan. I, this, I is, do. this is our rug this warehouse. This is very, basically. very similar to what we added yes, we a start, few years back. This is the color we kind of started with. Okay, yeah. It was a light natural. This is the dark natural. Mm -hmm. There's the lighter side of the dark natural. Here's the darker side. And again, when you flip it over, this is the other side. All of them, again, surged edges, a really beautiful weave. I'm gonna show you in about a minute how it's impervious to any kind. Now, 
of, of staining. Here's the light natural. And by the way, again, if you think light colors on the back deck aren't going to hold up, yeah, they will. We'll they will. show you that in just a moment. Uh, it completely transforms your outdoor living area. And it gives it not only a, an upscale look and feel, right. but a, a much more relaxed, casual, friendly feeling to it as well. Now, I need to give you an update already. Now we're going back this in, way. In these big guys, <laughs> in the seven by 10. Yeah. If you want this gray color here in the middle, there's fewer than a dozen of them in the big size. He did, uh, and the red, this happened, I couldn't even get over here fast enough. <laughs> the red just sold out. Okay, I'm moving the wrong so, one. So the red, is, the red is sold out. So we have the blue, we have a handful of the gray, we have the dark natural. Could you take the, a corner of that thing? Sure, be happy, in the light natural and the navy. I just want to hold this up to give you a real, you know, when they're sitting on the floor, you go seven by 10, that Dan has disappeared. I'm six foot four and I can barely stretch out to hold it up because this is seven feet this way, 10 feet the other way, really a great they, size. They come to you rolled up. We're going to throw this one off to the side just because it's sold out. Thanks, bud. There I do go. appreciate it. Uh, think about it, by the way, for your entryway, your living sure. room. By the way, take yeah, take the gray too. That sold out as well. Okay. You know what? Yeah, see you later, bud. <laughs> it's moving day Don't for forget rugs. The 78 inch round. Now, all the reasons why they were made to hold up to exterior without staining makes them perfect for the entryway Damn. in the high traffic areas. You cannot stain You know this what it is? It, it's, if you put that round in your entryway, yep. if you have a large entryway, put a pedestal on it with maybe a flower. Great. It sets off the whole entryway. It looks beautiful. Now, this is something I did in my kitchen about five years ago to see how well it would stain. On this swatch I have right here, I have dirt, I have uh, ketchup, I have mustard. Right. Then we're going to give it some Worcestershire sauce. These are hey, things you, you would normally- a salad? What are you doing? No, you would normally take, oh, and there's root beer on it. Uh -huh. You'd normally take this to the curb and throw it out. All I'm gonna do is put it in some water here. There's we don't have running in... water here, but uh, right. with a regular hose and a hose end sprayer- That's all you have to do. These things come up clean all the time. It seems like a magic trick. Like I said, if everything in your house was made like veranda, I agree. your couch would last forever, your clothes, your curtains. This is the one that got me. Bleach. Uh, we poured bleach in here with a black towel, towel and it, it bleached the color out here. of it in a matter of a few moments, but the bleach didn't do a darn thing to that olefin fiber of the rug. That's correct. Which means if the puppy makes a little mistake on it, I can come back with bleach and sanitize it. That's correct, and 99.9%. Yeah. And not destroy it. And the dog's not going to come back to that spot because why do they come back? Because uh, of this, the yeah. odor. Or if you spill they, they milk on a rug. They look great. They it, really do. It's the difference between the upscale of going with a plastic mat yes. and going with a real rug. And this was manufactured by one of the largest rug in the makers world. in the world. Yeah, their, their mills go 365 mm -hmm. days a year, 24 hours a day. They never stop except to change the creels that are going on. And the creel is what okay. holds all the fiber. Okay. Uh, this dark, <laughs> this dark natural, and even the navy in this big size. The yeah. only one we've got left is the light natural. Uh, there's a reason why we're on at just a few minutes till 7 a.m. Sure. If we did this in prime time, there's more eyeballs, and people would be <laughs> mad at true. me. This is the perfect Nobody. size in front of the outdoor sofas, a dining room set for four. You know another great place for this? Your sliding glass door. Okay. Use yeah, this good. as the mat where you're even gonna wipe your feet. You just saw how dirt, nothing does anything to it. So if you're wiping your feet on this, this is a huge mat going in the house and all you have to do is either sweep it or right. hose it off. And if you also have your uh, sliding glass door or your French doors, have one under your kitchen table. Right okay. here, because normally we have a kitchen table by the sliding glass doors, at yeah, least in a lot of houses. Yep. So if you put one inside and one outside, when you open those doors, you bring the outdoors in and you bring the indoors out and you get one big contiguous space. It's a beautiful decorator look. And I like also the versatility. If you want the darker look, you put yes. that side up or you just flip it. So you can change your patio space, just like we change just. the paint color maybe in the kitchen every once in a while. That's correct, you know, but again, First of all, the only the only reversible is, uh, from verandas here at QVC. Okay. But you've never had a rug in your house that you could reverse. Right. If you turned it over, it meant it was going out to the curb. <laughs> yeah, because something bad had happened to it. I've said before, when I grew up, if a rug got stained, it usually went down to the basement for the kids to then mess around. The then it went out to yeah. the curb yeah. after the kids destroyed it. <laughs> That's funny. So the size available, only 50 remain in that light natural in the big size, the 10 by seven. But pop a color. How about that 78 inch round 
in a red or in a blue or in the gray. We've got the dark natural and yeah. then we've got the light. And, and don't forget this intermediate size. It, it looks smaller on TV because it's such a big space. Absolutely. Yeah, we don't have any rooms in our, my house would fit right in the space yeah, we're, yeah, we're standing yes. in pretty much. But there it is, the snow, the elements, you think nothing of it. It's mold and stain uh, resistant. It's uh, fade resistant. There's so many things that go into this rug. And again, with the blue here, you look at it, you say, how can it be that I just do that to get a whole different look? And look at those different colors in there too. There's light blue, there's dark blue, all different colors. It's almost like a denim a dark denim okay. with a few colors in it. So it really has a lot of richness to it. And then that filigree around the edges, it just sets it off and looks so timeless. Like it will go with, you have a modern home, fine. Yep. You have a Victorian, fine. You have a colonial, fine. All these things, it's gonna look great. Uh, it really is the, the newest evolution in outdoor patio furniture because that it's become very expensive, very upscale, but the carpeting or the, the rugs that you put down dictate that space every bit as much 100%. as the furniture. It's, it's nice to anchor. have upscale at affordable pricing. Even if you put your furniture around the edges, like I said, picture that in an entryway with a pedestal and maybe an right. orchid on top of it. It's the anchor that welcomes you in the house. If you have a big enough front porch, use these as your front porch mats. Okay. You know, because as you just saw, dirt, n nothing really happens to them. So the more th your feet are able to walk on a rug, I have them in my garage. Why? Because I have a number of them. Okay. But as I walk through the garage, my feet are clean just by walking through that spot in the garage where I have the rug. We're used to mats outdoor. By the way, over 300 ordered so far. We're used to these plastic mats that you can fold up, tuck under your arm, yeah. and take with you to the, you know, outdoor summer concert, et cetera. That's not what these are. These are true rugs. That's exactly right. Okay and they're priced affordably. In fact, the price is, is amazing. In that big size, the seven by 10, the light natural is the only color remaining, and there's only two dozen of them. In that, that size, all other colors sold out this morning. This one's gone, Dan? That one's gone See, as I well. See, I would just roll it up, just so you get yep. an idea. It's a real rug, you roll it up like yep. that, and you say, I'm taking this rug out to the deck, and we'll see you later. Come and join me. I will. For Morning Q Live as well. Would That'd you do be that? Fantastic. And by the way, Thanks, uh, my best buddy is joining me as well. Pat James Dementory, uh, 